Georgia for reasons yet unknown without justification or notification a restriction that I knew nothing about until two weeks apparently after it was put in place by either West Taylor Sheriff Prime or some other entity unknown you've heard me talk about me being banned from public property in the state of Georgia. I am going to show you that not only have I been banned or restricted, but there were other people as well. This will be the first time that I include other people that have also been deny access or freedom of movement since Kendrick Johnson was found dead in the Lowndes County High School Gymnasium on January the 11th. Lowndes County Board of Education. This was before, listen please, this is the first time that I have highlighted this in this manner. What you are going to see is footage that I recorded before I found out that I had been put on a criminal trespass warning yet never informed verbally in writing by affidavit or some judge or court order decree yet they have taken away my rights along with others but definitely me because I have it in let's just say I have it documented so I want you to watch this was the march on behalf of seeking justice for KJ this is at the Lyons County Board of Education meeting or building rather and this is before I was told that I was under this criminal trespass warning I want you to see when they ran my driver's license, unlike any other person that came onto this property, as you're going to see, you're going to see other civilians go onto this property. You're going to see WCTV Gray go onto this property. You're going to see other news media outlets and ordinary person just go on this property, go in between the sheriff deputies. But I was the only person that they asked for a driver's license. And if you don't hear it on this footage, I have it on another recording where at that time I asked the question, why did they do this? Why did they single me out? And if they were even, if they was giving me special treatment or was it a form of intimidation? So now I want you to just watch. It's gonna be very brief. I'm only gonna show this because I want you all to know that until the people at Moody Air Force Base, the, the squadron and wing commanders out there, until the professors at Valdosta State University, Wiregrass Technical College, Georgia Military College, and other fine institutions of higher learning, as well as business owners and Wild Adventures theme park, until people wake up to understand that Valdosta is moving now into the 21st century and something must be changed here. If we expect to expand our community, then the people here, including the religious community, the lawyers, the doctor, as well as the judges who seem set in an old ideology that are no longer serving the needs 
of our community that can lead our city forward. So I want you to watch and see if anybody else would stop and had to show their driver's license as George Boston Rhymes. I contend that it's because I report what other controlled news media outlets refuse to publish because they don't want you informed. They want you deaf, dumb, and blind so you and your children can go further and further behind. I want you to listen as we present to you a reality here in Valdosta, Lowndes County, and no Georgia official have said anything about the denial of my constitutional rights. But if President Barack Obama had denied or restricted Rush Limbaugh, Glenn Beck, Neil Bork, or any from that line of the modern day Christians and patriots, Mark Levine, Le Laverne, any of those guys, then you would really have heaven on your hand. But because of my training by the civil rights organizations, and the United States Armed Forces, I am what I am. And I only present truth to you because in the end, truth is the only thing that's going to set us free so the, so the entire world will either respect us or reject us because after all, we are not who we claim to be but who we prove ourselves to be over a given period of time. Let's look and see what happened in Valdosta and Lyons County, Georgia. We were just informed that we could not go on the school property. And uh, I was just drove up in and I was turning around. And they ran my tag number in and further told me that I could not uh, be on the public property by order of the school superintendent. Let me back this up a little again. I want you to hear that again. Once again, I try to deal in nothing but the truth because that's what I want you to know about me. That I stand... I go on the school property. Listen. And uh, I was just... Drove up in and I was turning around. And they ran my tag number in. And further told me that I could not uh, be on the public property by order of the school superintendent. And I'm sure that a lot of these people are going to go in to be told they must, they must come out of there. But if that is indeed true, and according to the way I was accosted, then these people also should have their tag number in, including Channel 6, because I rode in just like he did. Once I was informed, then I was getting ready to come out, but I was asked for my driver's license. And so, Yes, they asked me for my driver's license and the sheriff deputy, I heard him on the radio, I have it recorded, wherein everything was fine on me and he told me you can go. But the point was, he did not run a single person that entered this area. He did not run their tag number. They was, uh, well, just listen. KBCI.blogspot.com, George Boss Rides in front of the Lowndes County Board of Education building. And I just been informed by President and CEO uh, Bobby Worth of the Justice League. What, what, you just telling me that you was what? I was standing on school property over here. We was waiting for the rally, everybody to be there at the rally. Three Lowndes County officers said school board said that they didn't want none of us on the prop, on the, on, the, on the school board grounds that we had to meet up in Sam. Uh, what I want to know is how they can tell us not to be on private property, on public property, that the taxpayers don't pay for. They didn't give you any reason in terms. Wait, wait, wait. They didn't give you any terms of being of safety or nothing like that. They didn't say because it was created a hazard or nothing like that. They just said that they didn't want you on the property yeah. without any valid reason. That's what you're yeah. saying. Yep. Yeah. They say they don't want us on the property. They didn't give them no reason. They say that all they're doing is what the police, what the school board told us. They didn't want us on the property. Okay. Thank you very much. This, once again, this is KBCI, George Boston.
And this is, of course, the actual location where people assemble and we march down to that area. But uh, my main reason for showing this is to let you know that uh, when they ran my driver's license number, not my tag number, but my driver's license uh, in, I wondered, and I say it then, and I have another foot area of footage that will show that I asked the question then, why are they singling me out? And I guess it was uh, 14 days later or more, they finally got around to telling me that I had been under a criminal trespass warning that I really knew nothing about. And that could have happened to anybody. Uh, and when my friend went out to West Taylor, superintendent of Lowndes County High School, and we must understand that this is following the death of Kendrick Johnson, that there was nothing that um, I had done. It, what, they, what they did was just, uh, I guess, single me out because I record with my camera, I guess, I'm not sure. And of course, Bobby Worthy was there and he bare witness of what happened. And he thought it was strange. Uh, I talked to an attorney. But my question really is, why should I have to get an attorney to, um, to be treated as a full-pledged citizen of this beloved nation? A nation that I served for over 20 years uh, in the United States Armed Forces. And so I just want you to, to take a second look to know how people are treated here in Valdosta and Lyons County. And the thing about it, it seems as if though the people don't even care. And, and, and this could happen to any Airman United Mood Air Force Base or any student at Valdosta State University, any student at Wiregrass Technical College, any student at Georgia Military College, any person visiting Kindaloo Golf Course or Wild Adventures Theme Park or just traveling through Valdosta, you can be pulled over and told that you are under a criminal trespass warning. Or you could be arrested and told that you had been under a warning for six months and yet there are no papers filed in probate court, uh, superior court, federal court, CID with the sheriff department, city police, and they just do what they want. And this is something that people have been saying for a long time here, that it seems that Valdosta and Lyons County operate under their own set of laws. And because many people here are on the poverty level, all they can do is join the probation roles here or go out and serve their time in jail. And of course, you already know that uh, Valdosta and Lyons County are leading the state of Georgia in jail deaths. But not one elected official, not the governor, not the attorney general, not the sheriff's department, nobody will even inform the general public what's going on or how many deaths have occurred. And so we're just living in a area of the United States of America that um, unless something happens here uh, from the elected officials, it seems as if though the common everyday people, well, I don't know what they'll have to do. But look, this is the Ghetto Free Press, and if I hadn't uh, published this to you, you wouldn't know nothing about it because none of this concerned anybody. Anybody of importance when it comes down to the, the, the free presses and television and radio. Uh, I am, uh, as I said earlier, uh, my situation has never been published in any newspaper, on any television program or radio. A 14-year-old girl that was tackled by a Lowndes County Sheriff deputy at Pine Grove Middle School gave the mother gave mother and father gave their packages to the TV station, the radio sta uh, radio stations, and newspapers, and yet nothing has been published. The mother must spend her hard-earned money to appeal a court order from the juvenile court judge here and others. And she's very distraught about it. She's very unhappy. And those who understand what's going on here feels as if though there's no justice here in Valdosta and Lyons County. Once again, we pray for the KJ family. And we hope that just maybe something can happen in our beloved community that will be good for all of us and not just for a select few. The Ghetto Free Press. Bye-bye. We done. Let me back this up a little again. 
I want you to hear that again. Once again, I try to deal in nothing but the truth because that's what I want you to know about me. That I stand. I on the school property. Listen. And uh, I was just drove up in and I was turning around, and they ran my tag number in, and further told me that I could not uh, be on the public property by order of the school superintendent. And I'm sure that a lot of these people gonna go in to be told they must they must come out of there. But if that is indeed true. And according to the way I was accosted, and these people also should have their tags to Moran, including Chelsea, because I rode in just like he did. Once I was informed, then I was getting ready to come out, but I was asked for my driver's license. And so uh, I'm just wondering. Yes, they asked me for my driver's license, and the sheriff deputy, I heard him on the radio, I have it recorded, wherein. Everything was fine on me, and he told me you can go. But the point was, he did not run a single person that entered this area. He did not run their tag number. They was, uh, well, just listen. Uh, Channel 6 News, they asked him for his driver's license. We're going to monitor that. He that is isn't me. We here for the month. KBCI.blogspot.com. George Boss arrives in front of the Lowndes County Board of Education building. And I just been informed by President and CEO uh, Bobby Worth of the Justice League. What, what, you just telling me that you was what? I was standing on the school property over here. We was waiting for the rally. Everybody to be there at the rally. Three Lowndes County officers said school board said that they didn't want none of us on the property, on the, on the, on the, on the school board grounds that we had to meet up in Sam. Uh, what I want to know is how they can tell us not to be on private property, on public property, that the taxpayers don't pay for. They didn't give you any reason in terms. Wait, 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 wait. They didn't give you any terms of being of safety or nothing like that. They didn't say because it was created a hazard or nothing like that. They just said that they didn't want you on the property yeah. without any valid reason. That's what you're yeah. saying. Yep. Yeah. They say they don't want us on the property. They didn't give them no reason. They say that all they're doing is what the police, what the school board told us. They didn't want us on the property. Okay. Thank you very much. This, once again, this is KBCI, George Foster Randall. And this is, of course, the actual location where people assemble and we march down to that area. But uh, my main reason for showing this is to let you know that uh, when they ran my driver's license number, not my tag number, but my driver's license uh, in. I wondered, and I say it then, and I have another foot area of footage that will show that I asked the question then, why are they singling me out? Uh, I was just drove up in and I was turning around and they ran my tag number in and further told me that I could not uh, be on the public property by order of the school superintendent. And I'm sure that a lot of these people gonna go in to be told that they must, they must come out of there. But if that is indeed true, and according to the way I was accosted, then these people also should have their tag number in, including Channel 6, because I rode in just like he did. Once I was informed, then I was getting ready to come out, but I was asked for my driver's license. And so, Yes, they asked me for my driver's license and the sheriff deputy, I heard him on the radio, I have it recorded, wherein everything was fine on me and he told me you can go. But the point was, he did not run a single person that entered this area. He did not run their tag number. They was, uh, well, just listen. Told that they must come out of there. 
But if that is indeed true, and according to the way I was accosted, then these people also should have their tags in Moran, including Channel 6, because I rode in just like he did. Once I was informed, then I was getting ready to come out, but I was asked for my driver's license. And so uh, I'm just wondering. Yes, they asked me for my driver's license and the sheriff deputy. I heard him on the radio. I have it recorded. Wherein everything was fine on me and he told me you can go. But the point was he did not run a single person that entered this area. He did not run their tag number. They was, uh, well, just listen. Uh, I was just drove up in and I was turning around and they ran my tag number in and further told me that I could not uh, be on the public property by order of the school superintendent and I'm sure that a lot of these people are going to go in to be told they must, they must come out of there but if that is indeed true and according to the way I was accosted then these people also should have their tag number in including Channel 6, because I rode in just like he did. Once I was informed, then I was getting ready to come out, but I was asked for my driver's license. And so, uh, I'm just wondering... Yes, they asked me for my driver's license, and the sheriff deputy, I heard him on the radio, I have it recorded, wherein everything was fine on me, and he told me, you can go. But the point was... He did not run a single person that entered this area. He did not run their tag number. They was, uh, well, just listen. Yes, they asked me for my driver's license and the sheriff deputy. I heard him on the radio. I have it recorded. Wherein everything was fine on me and he told me you can go. But the point was he did not run a single person that entered this area. He did not run their tag number. He did not run a single person that entered this area. He did not run their tag number. He did not run a single person that entered this area. He did not run their tag number. 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 Uh, I was just drove up in and I was turning around and they ran my tag number in and further told me that I could not uh, be on the public property by order of the school superintendent. And I'm sure that a lot of these people are going to go in to be told that they must, they must come out of there. But if that is indeed true, and according to the way I was accosted, then these people also should have their tag number in, including Channel 6, because I rode in just like he did. Once I was informed, then I was getting ready to come out, but I was asked for my driver's license. And so uh, I was just drove up in and I was turning around, and they ran my tag number in, and further told me that I could not uh, be on the public property by order of the school superintendent. And I'm sure that a lot of these people are going to go in to be told that they must, they must come out of there. But if that is indeed true, and according to the way I was accosted, then these people also should have their tag number in, including Channel 6, because I rode in just like he did. Once I was informed, then I was getting ready to come out, but I was asked for my driver's license. And so, but if that is indeed true, and according to the way I was accosted, then these people also should have their tag number in, including Channel 6, because I rode in just like he did. Once I was informed, then I was getting ready to come out, but I was asked for my driver's license. And so, but if that is indeed true, and according to the way I was accosted, then these people also should have their tag number in including Channel 6, because I rode in just like he did. Once I was informed, then I was getting ready to come out, but I was asked for my driver's license.